Turn that down, please. Uh, live na tayo. Start, uh, mag-start kasi ako supposedly today ng, uh, ng lesson para recorded siya. So, we will be doing two lessons. Yung module 4. Nagawa niyo naman na yung part ng homework noon. And then module 5. Konti lang naman kasi yung module 5. So, isahin na natin. Para sa susunod na lesson, okay. ay sa susunod na session natin, mga homework checking na lang at saka presentation. Habang wala pa sila. Ayun na lang, wala pa nga pala sila. Ano? Ah, uh, kumakay. Oo. Late sila. Mm, ano bang maganda? Meron ka bang homework na hindi nagawa? Yung slideshow. Sige. <laughs> Habang wala sila. Yung unahin natin yung sila. Sige, go muna. Sige, sige, go. Share? <laughs> share na? Go, oh, share. Buti na lang, wala share sila. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, go. Pagkinsa mo. Okay. Okay. So, uh, goals. Kita ba na, Raj? Okay, oo. Okay, go. Mayan yan. Nakin na nakin. Ang galing. Ano tawag dito? Animation. Sige nga. Matawa naman. Kita mo na? Kita ko. Kita ko na. Kita ko. Loading na siya. There. My goals. My goals. Err. Term goals. Boys. Shopping. Tapos sa uh, family outing. Tapos Bakit dyan mo gusto? Dyan mo talaga gusto? Ha? Dyan mo talaga Ay, gusto? Ang <laughs> kala ko dyan mo talaga gusto. Kasi maganda dyan eh. Pinaplano din namin pumunta dyan. Oo, oh, oh, marami kang magagawa. Uh, mura lang siya. Hindi siya ganun kamahal. Pero, para, alam ko na sa 1,500 lang. Pero lahat na ng rides, may libre na na food. Per head, ha? Ah, talaga? Tapos may kasama mm. ng accommodation. So, wala ka nang dadalhin. O, oh, diba? So, Tapos, ang mga rides nila... Sakto pala budget. <laughs> Oo, oh, sakto. Mm. Tapos, yung rides kompleto mula sa band, sa sa rappel. Ano yun? Yung uh, zip line. Ay, mga rappelling, mga oh, oh, zip line. Zip line. Okay. Ay, may rappel. Zip line. Alam po, may banana boat. Merong yung biking okay. something. Basta oh. marami. Okay yan. Sige, go. <laughs> okay nga. <laughs> Tapos for shorter, uh, midterm. Plan, life insurance. Ah, yan, yan, yan. Tapos uh, second-hand car. <laughs> ah, ah. Yan talaga ang car Tapos na gusto ne. mo? <laughs> Nakita ko nga. Dapat yung gusto mo na. Ah. House, saka, ano, uh, business. Is that a big shop? Pwede rin. Pwede rin. Pastry shops. Uh, sa Mariveles? Puro. Uh, mga coffee shop, mga gano'n. Yung house na yun, saan Tapos yung location yung, nun? Ay, yung house hmm. sa Camellia Balanga. Sa Balanga mo gusto? Pwede rin. Hmm. Okay, sige. Dapat chinek mo na kung magkano yung pricing nila pala. Oo, oh, nasa 3. Yes. Hmm. Sakto dun sa budget. Sakto. Very good, very hmm. good. Tapos yung sa long term, siguro hindi naman nakakain ng... Eh, oh, 2 mil... 2? 2 M? Wala pa. Okay, sige. Oo, oh, sa skills, hindi ko pa rin natatapos. Hindi ko pa maano. Hindi ko pa ma-distinguish ko na yung <laughs> kailangan ko. Okay lang. Minsan mahirap uh -huh. talaga. Kung gusto mo, isa-isahin natin, isulat mo dyan, and then I'll help you figure it out. Okay. Tapos yun sa goals, medyo in ko siya. Uh -huh. Yung tinanong ko sa'yo. Oo. Hindi uh -huh. <laughs> lang ha. Pagulay. Yeah. Wait lang, isisend ko lang yung link kay, sa kanila individually. Nawawala na sila. Bakit kaya wala sila? Alright. Sana? Ayun. Uh, sa... Yung goals, tapos yung mga goals, tapos yung target income. Uh, Ilagay ko yung savings needed, tapos uh, tapos inad ko rin yung ano, 
yun sa expenses, yung ideal expenses. Okay. Sinama ko siya. Ang ganda ng presentation. Ko okay, that's so nice. Ang ganda. Para makuha ko yung ano, target income ko. Ah, magkano yung lumabas ng target income mo? Target income per month sa short term, ng thousand one hundred sixty seven thirty six dollars monthly. Monthly. Long term. Uh, For the next twelve. Two thousand. Mid term na sa two thousand dollars. Okay. Ang long term mo is two thousand six hundred. Six hundred. Parang parang uh -huh. medyo. <laughs> parang masadong malit. Oo nga. <laughs> Nagulat din ako. Eh. Okay. Sige lang. Madali na i-figure out yan. Pero may mali. Um, lalaki pa yan for sure. Pagka in-adjust mo. Kasi, ang purpose lang naman yan is para maintindihan mo na ganito pala yung kind of lifestyle na gusto ko. So, I'm sure pagdating mo ng midterm, hindi na nga 2,000 yan eh. Baka lumaki na yan. Or baka yung mga opportunities na makukuha mo, so sobra pa dyan. Oo. Oh, mukha nga. Diba? Kaya niya yan. Sana. <laughs> Balikan natin yung uh, skills mo. Oh, expenses muna pala. Sige. Expenses. Expenses. Ah, oh, para... expenses, kailan pa rin. Wala naman ako inapin. Hindi mo binago? Okay, sige. So, oh, skills na muna tayo. Skills na talaga ako. Medyo nahirapan pa. Uh -huh. Knowledge in Microsoft. <laughs> Taka, balik ka. Balik ka. Apa, apa. Knowledge in Microsoft Office. Ano yun? Small or... In small office. Small office, home network. Di ba, ipakilagay mo nga yung sa Microsoft Office. Lagyan mo doon ng Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint. Word. Or, uh, uh, ilagay mo isa-isa. Word. Type mo siya dyan. Excel. Oh, kung talagang alam mo yan, ha, pati PowerPoint. Kung PowerPoint. Alam mo yung PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Okay. Uh, Because, uh, ano pa ibang alam mong application? Skype. <laughs> uh, Troubleshooting, bakit hindi mo ilagay uh, 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 English communication or English tutorial? English. Oo oh, nga, no? Diba? Kasi yan na yung ginagawa mo ngayon, eh. Okay. Tapos, um, marketing. Do you have a knowledge in marketing? Wala masyado. Wala masyado. Um, sa accounting, ano ba course mo? Engineering. Ah! Computer engineering? Hindi. Malaki yun. Hindi, ano engineering? Civil? Aeronautical. Aeronautics. Ang saya. Malayo. Oo oh, oh, nga, ang layo nga. Naku, bakit hindi ka nagtuloy? Sayang. Iyan ba yung mga um, course na nagpa-pilot? Uh, Iba pa yun. More on ano? More on sa, sa maintenance. Ah, maintenance ng kotse. Alam mo yung asawa ng friend ko, ayun ang trabaho. Hmm. Oo nga eh, mukhang masarap nga. Ba, no? Sayang, pag gusto mo. mo. Mel, ang Siguro sa na. susunod. Oo, unti-unti lang tayo ngayon. Muna. Sige, Mel, Hello. May, may homework ka bang ipipresent today? Sorry ah. <laughs> Wala pa din. Wala pa din. Ah, sige, di ba? Ah, at least dalawa Kasi na kayo. Kasi ano, hindi ako makagamit. Sorry, hindi ako makagamit ng desktop. Eh. Ayaw humiwalay ng batuta sa akin eh. Okay lang, ganyan talaga. Minsan, 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 ganyan talaga. Sige, di ba? At least dalawa na kayo. Kita niyo na ba screen ko? Oo. Okay. Ipipresent ko na muna sa inyo tong ating module 4 and 5. Pero pagka nawala ako, at least makakabalik ako kasi nire-record naman to ni Flor. Paki-message nyo lang ako kaagad sa ano okay. sa Facebook ha. Kasi baka mamaya dal-dal na naman ako ng dal-dal wala na naman akong kausap. <laughs> Sige. Balikan natin. Alam ko yung yung homework kasi nito pinauna ko na sa inyo nang nakaraan. Pero itong lesson hindi natin natakil. So ulitin ko. Or nat na topic na ba natin to hindi pa di ba identifying your passion? Wala wala so hindi pa. pa. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, good. Uh, umpisa tayo sa uh, definition ng passion. 
Ang passion kasi, kung i-google natin siya, if you're going to look it up in the dictionary, passion is an intense driving or overpowering feeling or conviction. So, ito yung gustong gusto natin. Uh, pagka, parang pag nagsalita ka na, for example, ang ganda, ang ganda-ganda niya. Parang may conviction, parang may DN, parang may, may, may malakas na emotion na involved. It's, ngayon, sa business, passion is when you're doing something that you really, really love. And it's also better if we're earning from it. Kasi yung iba, hobbyist lang. Um, yung pag, uh, kunyari, uh, nasa, nasa call center ka or nasa uh, teacher ka, pero hindi mo gusto maging teacher. Ang, ang passion mo is into uh, writing or into, uh, ano tawag doon, yung mga na, nagdo-drawing. So, ang ginagawa nila, nag, meron silang hobby na, na nagdo-drawing sila, meron silang mga scrapbooks, o nagsusulat-sulat sila. Yun, hobby lang yun. But it's, it's, uh, it's also better na kung yung, yung bagay na gusto gusto mong ginagawa, ay eh, kumikita ka na, ba diba? So, yun yung, yun yung topic natin today. Um, ang passion is, hindi lang ikaw ang ini-inspire, kung hindi, you also uh, inspire your team and your customers. Passion is what keeps you going when all else has fallen. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga successful na businessman, lahat sila passionate at what they're doing. Meron silang sariling, meron silang purpose. Uh, at yung purpose na yun, that's what drives them to, to succeed. Now, bakit napaka-importante ng pag-identify ng passion for a business? Kasi passion fuels your confidence. Passion creates excitement. And most importantly, Passion is contagious. Sabi ko nga dito kanina, passions in, passion inspires your team and your customers. And when you do that, mas madali na yung pag-build ng authority, mas madali na yung pag-build ng loyalty sa kanila. Now, meron akong isang favorite story uh, about a writer. Her name was Joe. Si Joe kasi dati, she's jobless and pregnant. Divorced din siya and single parent. Um, she's only living on government paychecks. Then the money coming in wasn't enough to pay the bills, so kinukulang siya. So nung, there was one time na nag-isip na siya na mag-suicide. But she loved writing so much, so palagi siya pumunta sa computer shop, nagsusulat ng libro, until she decided to sell her first book. Hindi siya na dalian, medyo mahirap. Kasi merong, meron kaagad na 12 publishers na nag-reject sa kanya. And of course, they weren't so friendly. Um, hanggang sa isang araw, merong pumayag, gave her 1,500 pounds or roughly 3,000 dollars as initial fee and advised not to quit her day job kasi walang guarantee that the story can make it to the market. And that, sinakamasakit nun, sinabihan pa siya na she doesn't have a future as an author. So, yung 3,000 dollars na yun, katumbas lang yan, siguro mga isang buwan at kalahating sweldo natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, isipin mo, isang buwan at kalahating sweldo para sa isang libro na hindi ko alam kung gano'n niya katagal sinulat. And she poured all her heart and uh, her imagination into that book para lang bigyan ka ng $3,000. Kaya lang wala siyang choice. Kailangan niyang tanggapin yun. And this is she right now. So she's one of the uh, top billionaires uh, in the whole world. Pero kakatanggal niya lang eh, nawala siya sa billionaires list. Kasi pinamimigay niya yung pera niya sa mga mahihirap. So marami siya mga foundation na sinusuportahan. Kasi yun ang kanyang passion. So she was able to write seven books. Kasi right before she, she wrote Harry Potter books, uh, talagang pito na yun ay isip niya. Pero hindi pa nagsisimula yung, yung book one. Hanggang sa naging pito nga. Nung natapos na yung seventh book, eto nagkaroon ng eighth, nagkaroon ng nine, ng, ay, ng, ng, ng eighth book, and then nagkaroon ng other mga supplementary na mga maliliit na libro. Pero sabi niya, she's done with the Harry Potter. So I don't know kung talagang totoo na yun. Kasi napipilitan na siguro siya ngayon. Kasi masyadong malakas yung demand for the for the book. So, hindi naman hindi naman tayo lahat katulad ni J.K. Rowling. But then, uh, meron tayong kanya-kanyang gifts within us. Na hindi man tayo katulad niya, meron tayong magagamit. So, um, sabi ko nga, we are not as blessed as J.K. Rowling. Hindi tayo katulad niya. We're not born great writers, maybe not great singers, dancers, or artists to make millions. Siguro sa ngayon, iniisip natin, we're just an average people with a few skills and talents. 
Pero, how can we create that opportunity to succeed using our passion? First, siyempre, we have to ask for it. We have to pray and concentrate. We have to talk to ourselves. Have some time alone. Mahirap, kasi kanina yung homework nga ni Vlad, nahihirapan siya in just identifying what are the skills that he has. Skills pa lang yun. Mahirap niya nang identify Kasi ang technique dyan, isusulat yung isa-isa lahat. Ano ba yung ginagawa ko for the day? Siyempre, hindi naman kasama yung paglalaba, pagluluto at paglilinis ng bahay. So, ano yung mga past experiences ko sa trabaho? Ilista mo yun. So, lahat ng mga ginagawa mo ng skills mo, kunyari, bu- bu- na- napunta ka ba sa billing department, napunta ka ba sa collections, napunta ka ba sa marketing, sa sales, sa production, uh, kung nag-call center ka, nag-customer service ka ba, ano ba yung mga accounts na hinawakan mo. So, lahat yun, ililista mo. And then once you have written them down, saka mo siya hatiin into what you like doing and what you don't like doing. Para ma, ma, ma sala natin kung ano talaga yung bagay na gustong gusto mong ginagawa. Think of all the things that you love doing. Ano yung mga bagay na pag ginagawa mo, nalilibang ka, magana yung oras, hindi mo napapansin. Minsan kung hindi mo gusto kung ano yon isipin mo lang, ano ba sa mga ginagawa ko sa ngayon yung nalilibang ako? Ano yun sa mga ginagawa ko ngayon yung gusto ko? Minsan mahirap siyang sagutin. Minsan it takes months or years to identify what our passion is. But it pays to find out what it is. So find that joy in what you do. Kung ayaw pa rin, look at the people around you. Who do you idolize the most? What are they doing? Find out if you want to do the same. Medyo Mas madali ito kasi manggagaya ka na lang. Kunyari, nakita mo si Sharon Cuneta. Ay, asawa siya ng senador. Kumakanta siya. Meron siyang, for example, marami mga foundations. Ano doon sa mga ginagawa niya yung gusto mo? Ayaw mo pa rin. Lipat ka ng isa. Sino pa yung gusto mo? May favorite kang author, may favorite kang singer, may favorite kang businessman. Uh, meron kang mentor na barangay captain or pare or anybody that you look up to. And then, tingnan mo kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila. And then, Ask yourself, gusto ko ba maging ganun? Gusto ko bang gawin yung mga bagay niyan? And if I would be doing that thing, would I feel fulfilled kaya? Diba? Now, isisingit ko to, yung four learning types. Alam ko, binanggit ko na sa inyo to before. Kailangan ko siyang isingit para mas maintindihan nyo uh, kung papaano, kung papaano nyo, mas ma- madaling i-identify yung, yung passion nyo. Again, we have to go back with the four learning types, the visual, the kinesthetics, tactile, and auditory. Alam nyo na to, di ba? Yung visual, yung mga uh, magaling pagka may, may nakikita or may pinapanood. And mostly, visual person answers the question, why? So parang kailangan lagi mo tinatanong, bakit ko kailangan matuto ng algebra? Ano bang gagawin ko dyan? Ba't ko kailangan mag-solve na? Ba't ko kailangan mag-memorize ng, for example, periodic table? Ano bang gagawin? Nula si Roach. Huh? Okay. Where's Roach?
Kita nyo na ako. Yep. Salamat, tingnan nyo. Napuputol talaga. Hindi uh, ko alam kung saan kayo naputol. Saan ako naputol pala. Uh, I was here. Andito na ba? Narinig nyo ba yung last part dito? Sa eight multiple intelligences? Oo, oh, yes. Diyan po. Okay, thank you. Alright, um, balik tayo. Um, si Gardner ang um, nag-theorize ng eight multiple intelligences. Pero ngayon, may dinadagdag silang pang nine. Pero yung original, walo. So we have the verbal, mathematical, spatial, spatial more or less, ito yung parang ano eh, tactile, bodily kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, and in intrapersonal, and naturalist. Siyempre, verbal yung magagaling sa communications, ito pala. Verbal yung magagaling sa communications, yung as, nabat asa na verbal? Communications, sila yung magaling magsulat, sila yung magaling magsalita. So, pwede kasi ang verbal, magaling kang magsulat, pero hindi ka marunong sa, sa, sa pananalita. So, pwede namang magaling kang magsalita, hindi ka marunong magsulat. Um, minsan kasi iba-iba yan eh. Hindi, 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 hindi sa'yo lahat meron. Yung iba kasi magaling magsulat, yung mga great writers, pero nauutal sila o nahihiya sila. Pero kasama pa rin sila sa verbal intelligences. Um, mathematical, syempre, yung magaling sa numbers, sa logic, spatial, ito yung magagaling sa mga sa mga spaces, sa maps, uh, magagaling din silang mag-growing, bodily kinesthetics, yung mga involved sa um, sports, musical, syempre, anything, magaling kumanta, magaling mag-direct mag, mag ng musical uh, presentation, magaling mag-compose, or mag, marunong magturo, mag-conduct, interpersonal, ito yung sociable, magaling makisama sa tao, marunong makiramdam, intrapersonal naman, ito yung mga taong uh, kontento na yung, ito yung mga taong tahimik pero kabisado nila yung sarili na alam nila kung ano yung gusto nilang gawin, mas madali silang mag-identify ano yung, ano yung pangarap nila, ano yung passion nila uh, mas determined sila kasi mas sigurado sila sa sarili nila naturalists are those nature smart, yung mga sinasabi nilang may green thumb, mahilig sa animals mahilig sa nature sa plants mga pwedeng gawin ng mga ng mga ganitong tao for example yung musical syempre sila yung mga choral director um, musical technician or music teacher sound engineer DJs syempre kasama rin yung mga singers di ba mga uh, naggumagawa ng mga tumutugtog ng instruments kinesthetics again mga sports enthusiasts at yung mga gusto ng may ginagawa may yung mga nagre-recycle ng arts or anything katulad ng pictures na yan. Linguistic, speakers, writers, authors, teachers, translators, sales, mga nasa public relations. And syempre ang math, sila yan. Kasama rin sa math ang magaling na analytical skills. So pati mga lawyers, chemists, analysts, bookkeeper and engineers. Hindi ako yan. Bakit nasama? Buti na lang di ako nagbubukit na yun. Spatial, ito nga yung mga magagaling sa map reading, artistic design. Anything that I don't have. <laughs> Everything, ito wala ako. Landscaping, design artists, interior design, pilot, so ito yan, architecture, engineering. Um, next, interpersonal. Um, there are also good teachers, nurses, counselors, secretary, politicians, and in sales. Intrapersonal, ito yung mga, mga psychologists. They're also writers, artists, because they like to work alone. Um, they're also good in engineering, counselor. Um, intrapersonal are also good good in uh, good as a leader um, in psychology and philosophy and in creative writing. Naturalist, again, yung mga foresters, farmers, botanists, naturalists. Uh, mga mahilig sa greenhouse, horticulture, biology, so sila yan. And lastly, yung pang nine na pinipilit pa lang nila or tinatry pa lang nilang i-add, hindi pa na-approbahan, is the existential or the spiritual intelligence. If you have um, this this drive to um, pursue special vocations and study,
nakakaiyak siya. Naririnig niyo na ako? Hello. Yep. Ay, salamat. Tutuloy na ako ha para matapos tayo. Hanggang module 5 pa eh. Buti na lang talaga si Flor ang nag ano ngayon, nag-record. At least hindi talaga ako mapuputol. Hindi talaga ako makabuo kahit kahit 10 minutes na dire-diretso. Sorry. Buti na lang nandiyan si Flor. Ulit ako. Sana ako. Last. Dito tayo naputol, di ba? Dun sa spiritual. Spiritual. Ayan. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, spiritual, ito yung mga tao na may may uh, drive to study about theology, the religion, the story about the creation. Yung may mga uh, mas, mas mataas na calling um, with regard to to their to to the to the, their relationship with the creator. So kasi iba't iba naman tayo ng religion, may mga may mga Buddhist, may mga may mga atheist, <laughs> may mga pagans, may Christians. So ito yung gusto mong pag-aralan lahat. Gusto mong mag mag karon ng stronger relationship with your creator. So regard regardless kung anong religion yung nakita mo at kung ano yung interest mo na yan. But then syempre, alam naman natin lahat, tayo naman dito sa Philippines. Most of us are Christians. So, alam naman natin lahat yan, na ba? So, yan yun. Hindi pa yan approved. The spiritual is not, spiritual intelligence is not yet approved. Ito yung sinasabi nilang pang nine. Pero diniscuss ko na rin para alam nyo. Kasi pwede namang, uh, for example, linguist ka, uh, pero meron kang, meron kang spiritual intelligence or pwede namang may musical intelligence ka rin. Pwede talaga merong multiple intelligence. In fact, ako nga, let me see. Ako, magbibilang ako ah. Feeling ko lang, feeling ko ano, verbal, uh, bodily kinesthetics, interpersonal, tsaka intrapersonal. Yun ang, yun ang strengths ko. Pero first two, siguro verbal and interpersonal. Oh, so kayo din, bilangin nyo na yung kung ilan kayo. So pagka makita mo to, makifeel mo na, ay, matalino pala ako. Uh, genius din pala ako. ba So it kind, kind of, uh, builds your self-confidence. Ito yung sabi ko nga nung na-discover na ko to. Sana uh, nung elementary ako, nung high school ako, um, alam ng teacher kung paano i-identify to. Kasi hindi hindi porket mahina ka, for example, sa math, bobo ka na. Or hindi pwedeng mahina kang magbasa, tanga ka na. Kasi di ba yung mga teacher dati, talagang pagka merong mga ganitong may mga mga mahihina sa certain sa certain na fields parang nalilabel yung bata ito yung medyo hindi ko gusto sa, sa school setting pero kung idadagdag nila to at bubukod-buko rin lang nila yung mga estudyante according to uh, learning types and according to this siguro mas gaganda yung education system natin mas marami tayong mapo-produce na genius anyway ano lang yun uh, ano tawag doon Patalastas. <laughs> Alright. Next. Um, one of my favorite uh, verses in the Bible right now is ito. Romans 12, 6 to, 6 to 8. Uh, let me just share it to you. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us, given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is, if it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is in giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Itong verse kasi na to, parang uh, it kind of, parang, uh, si, parang sinigundahan niya yung pakiramdam ko nung, no, dati, nung hindi ko pa ito nababasa na lahat tayo, uh, genius at some point, or lahat tayo merong gift, may special talent. Kahit na sinabi mong mahina ang isang bata, tamad mag-aral, hindi marunong magbasa, or hindi marunong magnegosyo, hindi marunong magpag-usap sa tao, hindi marunong uh, uh, yung mahiyain, ganun, meron at meron siyang gift. Kaya lang, hindi siya na-cultivate mula pa nung bata siya. Or kahit nitong lumaki na siya, hindi niya rin na-discover. So, kung meron pala tayo nito, kasi sabi sa Bible, meron tayo, di ba? So, kung meron tayo nito, mas madali nating maiintindihan yung sarili natin na, ah, talagang may binigay sa akin gift si God. So, ano yun? Talent mo, passion mo, skills mo, gift yan eh. And you can enhance it. 
'di ba? Pwede mo siyang i-enhance, pwede mo siyang mas pagalingin pa. Pwede mo rin siyang bulukin. At tulad ng mga magaganda yung boses na hindi naman nagiging singers, ni hindi sumasali sa mga choral group, hindi na kumakanta. So wala, hindi na improve yung yung singing voice nila, 'di ba? So what's the importance of knowing your gift? Pag alam mo kasi kung ano yung gift mo, you have the sense of entitlement. Kasi if cuz you own your gift and it was given to you, alam mong sa iyo Another one is you enjoy doing anything in connection with it. Sabi ka, kung magaling kang kumanta, so pag nakakarinig ka ng music, masaya ka. So pagka nagtatrabaho ka rin in connection with that particular gift, mas magaan ang buhay, mas masaya. And improvement of that and mastery is easy peasy. Napakadali. Um, kung mathematician ka, bigyan ka ng isang mathematical problem, napakadali mo siyang isolve. Or, or turuan ka ng another uh, a separate a way of solving a problem, napakadali mo siyang makukuha. Pero kung hindi talaga, medyo may inyarapan ka nga. Diba? So, kanya-kanya talaga tayo ng gift. But it's important that we identify that. Most likely, pag na-identify natin kung anong klaseng intelligence meron tayo, yung passion natin susunod. Kasi, kasi hindi ka dalasan eh. 100% kung ano yung gift mo, andun din yung passion. Just um, try nyo lang. Siguro, mamaya pagkatas natin mag-discuss. Um, try lang natin pag, ano, pag-usapan kung ano yung na-discover nyo with this lesson. Now, another importance of knowing your gift is you have greater advantage among others. You are good at what you do. You love, you love and enjoy what you're doing. While others are working, you're having fun. Kung sila, money motivates them, ikaw hindi. You have the advantage of avoiding the trap of fear and greed. Fear and greed meaning kasi most ng mga employees takot sila na mawalan ng 15th and 30th na income. So, kaya ang tawag sa kanila na iba, high paid slaves. Kasi nakatali ka na doon sa 8 to 5 uh, na trabaho, tapos pinresyo na nila yung oras mo. So, parang ikinahon ka na nila na hindi ka na pwede mag-isip. Pag sinabi nilang, ito ang trabaho mo, gumawa ka ng... For example, gumawa ka ng PowerPoint presentation. So, lahat lang PowerPoint present presentation lang nga mula umaga hanggang gabi, 8 o'clock hanggang 5 o'clock. So, wala ka na ibang gagawin. Eh, hindi pala yun ang gusto mo. Gusto mo palang, let's say, mag, mag-design ng mga images, maggumawa ng, uh, ng mga bahay, or gumawa ng isang building na magandang architectural design. So, nasisira na yung creativity mo. Kasi, andong ka lang concentrate sa trabaho mo. You have a job description. At yun lang ang kailangan mo gawin. So, na naaano ka ngayon, na natotrap ka sa rat race. Um, kaya ka nagkakaroon ng kaya sa, sa normal office setting, sa corporate or sa lahat sa pabrika, sa lahat ng klase ng ng trabaho, nagkakaroon ng inggitan, nagkakaroon ng mga sipsipan, nagkakaroon ng politika because of this. Kasi ang hinahabol mo na lang promotion, pay raise, at saka recognition ng boss mo. And in order for you to do that, some people are really willing to step on someone else's toes para lang makaangat doon sa tatlong yun. So, hindi maganda. Um, na, natututo kang gumawa or na, na, nagkakaroon ka ng ill feeling towards others. So, hindi na rin siya healthy. Um, again, ito yung rat race na kung makakawala ka dito, kung hindi ito yung yung magiging motivation mo hindi lang yung pera hindi lang yung yung promotion hindi lang yung incentives sa trabaho kung meron ka ibang gagawin na gustong gusto mo and you're passionate about it you are one step ahead of the others
Hi, sorry. Konti na lang, matatapos na. No problem. Sana ako. No, I'm not filming anymore because I can't film enough, remember? I'm doing live sessions, but I keep on uh, kicking out. Google is kicking me out. Dito tayo? Ah, dita. 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 You just saw it. Ito, ito, ito. Okay. Ulitin ko. Parang ang dami ko na sinabi ito ko dito ah. Oh, ano? Um, okay, ulitin ko sa umpisa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm grounded. You're grounded, yes. You're grounded from YouTube. Go ahead. <laughs> no, koy ka. Go there. Um, the importance of knowing your gift is that you have greater advantage among others. Siyempre, um, you're already good at what you do and you love You love and enjoy what you're doing. So advantage mo na yun. Um, others are working. Others seem to be working, but you're having fun. Now, if money is what motivates them, ikaw hindi. They say that employees are high-paid slaves. Kasi ikinahon ka na eh, nakakahon ka na for 8 to 5, for example, you will be doing a uh, certain job description. So, meron kang fear and greed na mawala yung sahod mo ng 15th and 30th, 30th na, na, na nilagay ka naman sa kahon nung kumpanyang pinagtatrabahuan mo. Um, nagkakaroon ka ng limitations with your um, creativity, with your talents. So, parang binayaran na nila kung ano yung pangarap mo. Na wag mo na lang to pa rin. To pa rin mo na lang yung pangarap nila. Do you just want me to watch that all over again? You watch me, yeah. <laughs> right. And they're raising paychecks to pay paychecks, pay raise, and job security. So, what happens is that nagkakaroon ka ng ill motive among your, your peers, among your colleagues. Kasi nag, nagkakaroon ka ng, ng, parang gusto mo nang palaging ma-promote, gusto mo ng recognition from your boss, gusto mo ng pay raise. So, hindi nagiging maganda, hindi nagiging healthy. Kung wala kang fear and greed, you are already one step ahead of the others. Now, how do you do it? You have to go back with your goals. Kaya yung goals ang unang-una nating homework. You have to know where you are. Currently, you have to identify where you are and where you want to go. So, from point A, you are going to point B. So, the distance between that, yun yung gagawin natin. And that distance is not easy. Hindi siya madali. Hindi, hindi, ka, hindi mo lang siya lalakarin o tatakbuhin. Pwede mo siyang aakyatin ng bundok, tatawid ka ng dagat, sasakay ka ng aeroplano, or anything. Malayo or matagal na trabaho. But if you're really up to it, mas maganda. Employee or entrepreneurship, alam naman natin na entrepreneur ang gusto nyo. ba? So, in, in order for you to build the business, kailangan mo rin alamin ano yung product mo. Since virtual assistant ang pinag-aaralan natin, our product will be the kind of service we will be offering to our clients. So, anong services naman yun? Diba? Kaya kailangan natin identify ano talaga yung passion natin. And then, saka natin extract ano yung service na ibibigyan natin sa client. Okay? Now, Kailangan nun, after that, magmamarket na tayo, game plan. So, kailangan may plano. Paano natin gagawin yon? Marketing, next yan. Matagal pa yan. So, ngayon, unahin natin to. What is your product? So, we have to identify what our passion is. Now, recap ko lang, mabilis. Learning types, we had, uh, we learned about the four learning types, why they're important, nine multiple intelligences, and that we learned that
Grabe, naputol na naman. Naiiyak na ako. Where's your tears? <laughs> Where's your tears? <laughs> so, okay, no. It's just an expression. Okay na tayo, guys. Kita niyo na ako? Yep. Grabe, saan ako naputol? Anong Yan. slide? Yan. Here? Uh, hindi ikaw sila. Dito. This one? Dito. Okay. Yung recap? Hindi. Ito. Or this one? Kanina. Yung recap. This one. Ito, recap. Okay, thank you. Hindi ko naalisin dito para nakikita ko kayo kahit pa paano. Ay, grabe. All right, recap. Um, ito lang. Uh, we discuss about the learning types, why they're important, the nine multiple intelligences, and that intelligence is a gift from God, and that He wants us to use it. Now, where and how we can use it is up to us. So, ano yung next step natin? So, ito na yun. Kaya, balik tayo dun sa things I can do, I don't like doing, and I love doing. Kasi ito yung tutulong sa atin to identify what our passion is. Right? Now, dun sa homework nyo, ginagawa ko kayo nitong 402. Ito yung ginawa nyo. But please, add another um, tab. Title it as passion. Um, sa first tab, lagyan nyo memories. Hatiin nyo siya into childhood, teenage life, and as an adult. Um, Vlad, ikaw siguro pinaka-importante ito magawa mo. Kasi nahihirapan kang identify yung mga skills mo. Baka mami may makalkal kang magaling ka pala mag-drawing ng bata ka. Or mahilig kang gumawa ng mga maps. Pag ano mo lang, uh, isipin mo lang kung ano. And then okay. write them down. And then create a creativity or vision board. Ang vision board kasi, one page lang siya. Pwede mo siyang gawing wallpaper or pwede mo siyang iprint. Andun lahat mga long-term goals mo. Pwede kang maglagay din ng your favorite quote or Bible quote or whatever to keep you inspired every time na nakikita mo siya. And then lastly, okay. um, sa last tab, rename it as people and list down the names of the people that are important to you today. And then on the second column, the names of the people that you want to be uh, 10 or 20 years from now. So sa vision mo. Okay? Next. Meron pa akong pahabol isa dito eh. Okay. Last na to. In the same Google Sheet, um, third tab, Rename it as questions and answer the following questions. What kind of job I like doing? If I'd be doing something for free, what is it? Is if there's a, is there's a skill? Is there a skill that you want to learn? If yes, list them down. Sa isain mo, for example, gusto mo matutong mag Photoshop, mag uh, web design, anything na gusto mong matutunan. Kasi iyon, ipapark natin yon. Kasi hindi natin siya uunahin i-offer. Ang uunahin natin kung ano yung Alam mo na ngayon. We have to capitalize with the skill that you have today. And then while you're doing that and you already have clients, saka mo na ngayon pag-aaralan yung mga bagay na gusto mong gawin. Okay? Next, what does um, that person that you look up to do in business? Ano yung ginagawa niya? May favorite ka bang teacher ng elementary, high school, um, favorite pastor, favorite politician, or anybody that you look up to, a relative, at ano yung ginagawa niya? Do you see yourself doing the same thing as he or she is? So, ayun. Yun lang yung additional natin. Hindi ko alam kung kaya ko pang ihabol ang module 5, pero ayoko nang maputol. Para lang meron na kayo kaagad gagawin. Kasi mag-importante magkasunod kasi itong 4 and 5 para hindi na kayo maputol. Okay? Now, the reason why I discussed passion para alam nyo kaagad kung ano yung magiging niche nyo. Um when you identify uh, your, when, when we start your, your marketing plan. Pero first, we have to uh, def define niche. What is a niche? A specific market you want to capture as defined by customers, product, price,
Last na, promise. Tinig nyo na ako? Am I here? Yes. Thank you. Last na to. Dito tayo naputo sa niche, di ba? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, why do you need a niche? Um, ang niche kasi is a, is a specific market that you want to capture as defined by customers, product, price, features, and benefits of your chosen, pro of your chosen product or service. Nagulo na ako. Defined by your customers, okay? Of your chosen product or service. For example, successful US-based health coaches using to outsource their admin tasks. Hindi mo sinabing health coaches lang. Hindi mo sinabing US-based health coaches lang. Meron kang successful US-based US health coaches looking to outsource their admin tasks. May problema sila. But you have identified and you want to solve that particular problem. Now, bakit kailangan mo ng niche? Kasi when you have a niche, it keeps all your ideas focused on a specific business. Ang nangyari, mas mabilis kang mag-gain ng authority. Kasi mas nagiging kabisado mo siya. Um, I know some of you have worked in factories, di ba? Uh, lalo na sa Maribeles. Kung maaalala nyo sa loob ng factory, may isang ginagawa lang ang isang tao. Kung nananahi siya, for example, kung nagkakabit lang siya ng sleeve, sleeve lang ng sleeve ang ginagawa niya maghapon. Hindi siya nagkakabit ng collar, hindi siya nagbubuo ng buong damit. Kung sa bag naman, kung sa, sa zipper lang, sa zipper lang siya, hindi siya mahawak ng ibang parts. Tapos, nagiging, as time goes by, nagiging mas mabilis siya at nagiging expert siya nung trabaho niya. So, mas mabilis. Baga kung sa, sa mga industrial, ano yun, yung mga IE, di ba, nag, nag ano sila na, gaano kakabilis sa isang oras, ilan ang nagagawa mong per piece, for example, na trabaho. Mas nagiging mabilis ka pag yun ang iyon yung ginagawa mo. Kasi sanay na sanay ka na. Ganun din dito. And it makes you an expert at your chosen niche and it weeds out other competitions. Meaning, kahit pare-pareho tayong BA, magkakaiba tayo ng mga passion, magkakaiba tayo ng skills, magkakaiba pa rin tayo ng niches. ba? And um, you can communicate with your ideal clients more effectively kasi gusto mo sila, alam mo sila, pinag-aralan mo sila, di ba? Now, um, for example, there are two VAs doing social media management. The first one serves health coaches. So the VA here specializes in doing social media management specifically for health coaches alone. The second one serves speakers and writers. So magkaiba ang kanilang niche, di ba? While the VA here specializes in doing social media specifically for speakers and writers. So they are not direct competitors. Bakit? Kaiba kayo ng target market eh. So kahit pareho kayong social media managers, magkaiba kayo ng target market. You're both social media management serving two different sets of clients. You can both exist in one group without directly competing at each other. So, um, hindi kayo maghahatakan ng kliyente, hindi kayo magsasapawan kasi magkaiba kayo technically ng skill. Why? Although pareho kayong social media managers, ang expertise ng isa, self coaches. Ang expertise ng isa, sa speakers and writers. So, magkaibang field, magkaiba nga ng niche. Working with a niche makes you an, ex an expert at something rather than a jack of all trades and master of none. So I recommend you ex you observe the VAs in social media groups and you'll see how they niche out. So pag-aralan nyo um, yung mga groups, kung ano yung mga, mga social, mga pinaggagagawa ng mga VAs doon, pakpabasahin nyo yung mga comments nila, yung mga, the way they ask questions, the way they niche out. Uh, may madidiscover kayo na, na mga, siguro may mga light bulb moments kayo na, na mga experience pagka nagbasa kayo na nagbasa doon sa mga Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups, kung saan man kayo mas comfortable. Now, again, what is an ideal client? An ideal client is someone that needs your product or services, given na yan. Someone that you feel connected with. It's a group of people that is very ideal to you as customers. For example, um, meron ka ng dating uh, business, nakakausap mo, for example, mga doctors. So, baka familiar ka na doon, alam mo na yung, yung language nila, alam mo na yung mga terminologies, baka sila ang gusto mong tulungan. So, instead of them hiring a full-time employee, pwede kanilang i-hire as part-time para i-manage ang kanilang mga administrative tasks. So, why there is a need to define your ideal clients? Again, to be able to understand them fully, their needs and pain points, so you can make better products and services to satisfy their needs. And they can also promote your products to others. So, now, we have to profile your ideal clients. Parang niching out. Niching out kasi yung industry lang. Ito, kliyente na mismo. 
So, you have to define them by demographics, gender, educational attainment, income, values, needs, etc. You can also define them psychologically. So, pwede ka mag-create ng market study, check them online. Ano yung mga, um, mga, mga ugali nila, mga hobbies nila na gusto mong meron. One sample of my ideal client profile before is this one. Um, eager and hungry for VA business, excited to try new things, always positive, looks into things from the overview perspective, likes children, of course, likes jokes and easy to talk with. So ito yung mga yun, looks at people the same way regardless of status, educational attainment, or race, sexual preference, religion, etc. Loves reading books and movies, likes coffee or tea, chocolate, loves plants, animals, and the environment. Knows her values and live up to it. Knows the value of money and doesn't spend on anything she doesn't need. Can appreciate simple things like the sunset, flower, or smell of it. Likes adventure and would love to have one. Likes poems. Knows how to write and, and appreciates a good writing. So, ito yung mga sample lang ng ideal clients ko. Whew! Sana hindi naman ako naputo ulit. Okay, hindi pa naman. Puto na ba? Hindi pa ba kayo? Okay pa. Ako. Thank you. May naririnig kasi akong... Gumagalaw eh. Sorry, mabilis na ako, ha? Okay. Now, again, balikan nyo ito and then um, try to find out what your niche could be. Alright? And then, how do you find your niche? Homework. Define your ideal clients first. Ask questions before building a business. Write the pros and cons and then decide. Gusto nyo bang single proprietorship, partnership, corporation? Kailangan alam nyo, kasi sa business registration, setting up, planning stage, kailangan alam nyo na kung ano itong mga to. Next, business models should start from identifying and or answering the following questions. Products and services, again, go back to skills and passion. How to get customers? How the product or services will get to them? After sales support, how will you market? How will you help me build and maintain who will help me build and maintain it sorry should i hire employees fix payroll ba siya or get subcontractors hourly project based or uh hourly muna pagka stable na saka sila fix employment or whatever lastly in google sheet write down what comprises your whole day activity from sun up to sundown Make sure to put the hours. For example, 6 a.m. ako gumigising, 6.30, a breakfast preparation, ay naasika sa mga bata, mga ganon. So, just write them down. May maganda tayong discussion dyan pagka natapos na kayo. Whew! Sorry, minadali ko siya. No problem. <laughs> Hindi siya quality. Ayoko. Wala akong magawa. Ganyan yung nangyayari, guys. Ito yung nag-record ako. And for the whole week, siguro mga 6 times ako nag-record. Nainis na ako hanggang sa feeling ko, hindi na ako effective. Kasi, nainis na ako eh. Napipikon na ako eh. Anim na beses na recording nga. 15, 20 minutes. Nakakainis, di ba? Pero, buti na lang natapos tayo ngayon. Salamat kay Flor. Um, guys, hindi ako makakapag-extend ngayon kasi I have a new client. Meron kaming onboarding meeting right now. Kaya mag-alala, i-discuss natin yung onboarding meeting. Sa susunod, um, pagka nandiyan na yung client, anong gagawin natin. Uh, parang training ni kliyente. So, ganun. Instead kasi, sa VA business kasi, instead na si client ang magtitrain sa'yo, ikaw yung magtuturo sa kanya how to do it. That's the difference between a virtual assistant employee and virtual assistant um, business owner. Pag business owner, ikaw ang magdidirect sa kliyente. You will tell them what to do. Parang uh, ikaw yung engineer, hindi carpentero. Gets nyo yung parallelism. Uh, ganun siya. So, kaya... So, umpisa pa lang, palagi kong binibuild sa inyo yung confidence. Um, and I'm so happy, wala si Marvin today because he got his own, his first client, $8 an hour, not bad, uh, for a beginner. Um, Mag-increase daw after 3 or 6 months yata, into 10, with commission. So, I'm very happy. He's uh, doing his training right now. Sabi ko, manood, nakinig na lang siya ng recording. So, Marvin, congratulations. And next time, sunod 15 ha. Tapos yes. na 20, tapos pataas na ha. Uh, kaya nyo rin yan. Um, unahan lang talaga yan. I might not be able to entertain more questions tonight, pero at least nakapag-lesson tayo. Please do your homework. And next, ano natin? Wala na ano ulit? Naputo na ko ulit? Meron pa. Okay, meron pa. Anak, please stop that YouTube. Alright, so yun lang muna. Okay, good. Puputulin ko na bago ako maputo ulit. Nakakapagod. Ang hirap mag-bye-bye ng ano. Nang nang Facebook lang. So, ganun lang muna. Okay. Bye.
Dahil wala ako mag-washington ito ng sapo ngayon. Inaaraw-araw ko nang tawag ang PLDT. So hopefully, ikabit na nila internet connection ko this week. Okay, yun lang muna tayo okay. na. Bye guys! See you See next Monday. Na.